I lived in it. Let me, let me just make a space. I smuggled these on the plane one time from Spain. And this is uh, my favorite place to skate in Barcelona. Sants. This is a Sants tile that I broke into three places so I could put it on, put it in my bag to get on the plane. Because I heard they were tearing it down, you know? So I was like, fuck that, I'm grabbing one. And then, under that. Oh my god. Oh, a Love Park tile. Oh my god. Oh. So, both of these make half a tile. And then the other two make the full tile, but when I was moving somehow, I lost two of them. I had, I had four which made one tile, so if you guys ever wanted to know how wide the tiles are, that's about it. Pretty big in person, you know? This is guaranteed the only one out here in California. Abe's like, he's pretty much one of my favorite skaters. You know what I mean? And uh, he came to Philly a few times. It was really dope. When we were filming for the DC video, it was sick. And uh, I seen that one at DC on the wall, the old office in Vista. I seen that one. And then I'll show you some more inside. And I, I literally was like, damn, I want those. And just boop, 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 boop. <laughs> just took them all off the wall and put them under my arm. And Blayback was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know, they can get them again, right? And he was like, yeah, we'll get them again. So even though I got permission to take them, it was, it was kind of like a theft, you know? Because, uh, you know, we didn't ask for permission, but they were Blayback's photos. And he said it was all right. So I got that one, and then I'll show you some other ones. This one was dope. The video was cool, having fun filming it the whole nine, but what made what made me love this was right here. It says, Kalos, thanks for all the years of dedication. You really helped make this company and video what it is. You really helped make this company and video what it is. Ken Block, Damon Way. To hear that from Ken Block is like, wow. Because when I when I my first shoe broke all the pro shoe records at DC, you know? And I was like, Ken, man, we broke all the records. Like, that's sick, you know, I got a big ass check and shit. And he was like, ha, Kalos, I wouldn't expect that to happen again, right? <laughs> and I was like, okay, I use that as motivation, you know? But to get that, that wording from Ken, you know, and Damon just meant so much to me. It was just like, wow. I kept this thing, Stevie, as a toy. I, and I picked it up at the store. Like, I, just, I was like, what the hell? And bought it. But look, like, look at his eyes, dude. <laughs> and then one of my all-time favorite things that I kept was the very first uh, DC Shoe Varsity Jacket. Dude, I've had this thing for, I couldn't even tell you how long. I wish there was a date on it. But uh, I used to skate in it. It's all worn out. I got seat patches that cover rips. Um, what a sick. Got a little silhouette of Stevie. Dude's amazing. What else we got? We got this Love Park paintings here. I got a couple of these. So, late 99, early 2000, you know, I got a nice raise because, you know, turned pro for DC. They had these prints down at I Brewster on Walnut Street in Philly. It's like a big art gallery. And I rolled in there and I seen one of these in the window. And what I didn't know that Robert Indiana is the guy that actually created the love sign at Love, you know? So uh, I was like, how much are those? And he was like, oh, they're 500 bucks a piece. I was like, damn, 500 bucks. But I had this wall in my house in Philly and it was just huge. It was like 17 foot ceilings, you know, it was big. And I was just imagining four of them up there that made one big square would be super sick. So I said, screw it, dude, give me four. And the guy was like, really? I said, yeah, give me four. So I paid two grand for four of them. And I had the most buyer's remorse ever when I was walking back to the house, like carrying these bags. And what's funny is Ken Block even bought one. And uh, I was like, damn, two grand was a lot of money, man. And I walked to the house, I put them on, on the wall. And uh, fast forward to um, 13 years later or something like that. And 
they're now worth between five and eight grand a piece. So I sold two of them <laughs> immediately. I was like, are you serious? I, I, I called that Brewster, was like, hey, uh, you guys buying these back? He was like, oh yeah, you that skater kid? You got four of them, huh? I was like, damn, you remember that? I said, yeah. And I, they said, yeah, well, you know, we'll give you, we'll give you X amount of dollar a piece. So I'd ship, I'd ship two of them to him. And they sent me a check and I was like, damn. So I still have two that I'll always keep. They're insured. But um, shit, I was like, damn, that's, so that's how it works. <laughs> that's how that art stuff works. I pulled these out, but I don't remember if there was something super sick that was in here. Me and Stevie, Stevie was going to prom that night. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have him in his suit here in this pile too. Basically, look at his face. <laughs> look at his face. This is a night after Tampa Pro. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a dear night after Tampa Pro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorites though. Pepe Martinez, man, that was my dude. We used to just have drinks and shoot pool after we were done skating. Me, him, and Drake Jones. Miss that dude, man. He was a good dude, you know? Oh, shit. This one's a crazy one. I forgot I even had this. The New Era Lynx. That's not even what I was going for. They're kind of dirty, but this is one of my favorite things that I kept was the centric shoe, my shoe, but it was a DC or a DGK collab. I thought this shoe was fire, man. Not for sale. I think so. This one. This one is a pretty cool story. I was skating at Love. It must have been like 2000-ish. Probably like right around 2000. And this little girl came up and she was like, dude, she couldn't even speak any English, man, somehow a little bit. But what she told me was is that she painted this. She flew from Japan all the way to Philly just to give me this. I seen her for like 30 minutes and then never seen her again, ever since then. Mako. That's who she is, whoever she is right there, Mako. Thank you. It's just the most uncomfortable chair you could ever possibly have, but it's the coolest one ever. Uh, DGK gave me this as a gift. Yeah. Okay, come up here, I'll show you some of these pictures. This was another photo I stole off the wall at DC. Old DC, when they were in Vista. So the current DC don't come after me right now. But yeah, this is, one of my most favorite things I ever did in my whole career. I don't know, put it on the wall. Most people don't put pictures of themselves on the wall or you get hated on for it, but you know what? Until you go there and try that and do that, I don't even care. This one's dope. I got some earthquake putty behind it. Lance Mountain painting. Thought it was sick for me, personalized. I called him up one time, I was like, hey, can I get a little piece of artwork? This was like, dude, it had to have been 10, more than 10 years ago, I think. He said, yeah. And then he, a couple weeks later, this just showed up at my doorstep. Shipped it to me and everything. I was psyched. Oh, this one's pretty dope, though. Oh, look, both bridges. Both of them. Uh, this one was 95, I think, and me and Skin were just out cruising around, and I was like, yo, let's try to, I think we went up there one time to just hang out, me and the homies, and so, if I remember right, I told Skin that there was something up there to skate. We stopped by there, and it's like, what you can't see is that there's a 90 degree turn right here, so to get the speed, you have to like, rip it and pull yourself around and then smash up the side of this thing and then go over the pole. And then you only have like four feet of concrete before it's dirt. And so it's strictly for the photo, you know? 
And so we shot it, thought it would be cool, and uh, it ended up being cover. And then this bridge one, this was, dude, this was like 6 a.m. And it was, Ken Block was filming one of his Gymkhana videos in San Francisco. And the idea was they shut, they slowed traffic down to like two miles an hour over here, the cops did on the other side. So Ken could put his starting line here and like rip into the city. And the idea is that me and Blaze would just tag along in the van and then just hop out when it was empty and try to like get some flat ground tricks or something like that. And uh, it, and it worked out, you know, which can't tell is that there's a cop car right here yelling at us because we're going past where he wanted us to be. This one's pretty dope. It goes with that sequence up top. This was something that this, this dude named Thatcher just sent it to me via, I don't even remember how he got it to me. It was like, uh, tagged me on Instagram or something. I just happened to randomly come across and, and I gave him my email address. He said that he wanted to send me something. So whatever, here's my email address. And he sent me the digital version of this and was like, yo, I'm gonna send you a print. And he literally sent me that print. And it's dope. And he sent me this one of Stevie. Sick, right?